makes me happy, I make her happy, she's about to be legal, we're okay. It's okay, you guys find wrong about this. <sighs> I think I have enough of that. Yeah. Rebecca. Actually, did not talk about that situation because I kind of missed it because when I was on my break, that, that's when it happened. Player. But the back situation happened when I was uh, not streaming. I was pretty much trying to get my exams, so I did not absolutely care about the situation. I only know that suddenly, because I, I knew Baco, like we, we talked with each other. Uh, you know, on some occasions while I was making the Magisman Tour. Actually, he was the one who Being inspired me to make the Magisman Tour. I'm like, I always had an idea about this, but after making my video, we talked for a bit, and then I saw his video on translations, and I thought, huh, I could make an application for that. So I said, okay, I'm gonna do this. And maybe, you know, I'm gonna... Like, I thought, like, maybe, maybe he will find the application useful or something like that. Uh, yeah, when, when the thing happened, suddenly I saw that Baco left my server, which was kind of... Bye-bye. It was kind of, I don't know, sad because he was the only uh, partner. Yeah, I went to... Bye-bye. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did you do that? I went to, on SS uh, Discord server. I can't give enough fucks about it. Uh, I saw that he left and there were a lot of people talking about it. And at the time, the drama was that he said the N word while he was like 13, which is just. Who cares? And the other thing was that. Uh, crap. Oh yeah, he was spreading misinformation. Like, yeah, uh, there yeah, were a there couple of a clips where he was talking to some. This video of back after that. That was not. I did not know about that yet, and I don't think that was public information. But they, these were the two things. That he was. He said the N word while he was 13. Who cares? I think Baco like, said N word after he turned 18, and he uses I for his videos. Okay, that's actually misinformation. He's. I think he might be now 18. He was 17 at the time. And he said I was 13. There is no AI in, in the videos. The real reason was that he was making up misinformation on servers, making up drama. And I have no idea. I heard those clips and he was just sounding like he was crazy. I don't know. I thought, okay, yeah, sure, that's a, a bit weird, but I don't think. Flag. Could you please let me finish my point of view? Because I need to explain myself because I went for this. Let me finish. I went for. Uh, how I handled the situation no. was extremely terribly but at the time you know those two things i thought yeah and more when he was 13 who cares like he was like young like you do a bunch of stupid things while young i once found a video of my yeah never give a child a camera pretty much i'm not even gonna tell you what i found on that camera holy crackers and yeah the the, the other part where he was just making up drama i was like okay that's a bit weird you know you can do mistakes i don't think it's that big of a thing that suddenly everyone hates him uh, uh, everyone hated Paco before okay because he did the the meta content that he made change the videos like a lot of people made fun of that I didn't mind it, like, people are watching this, so there is an and audience for that. Was. And uh, while uh, while I was doing that, I was also just, you know, studying, so I didn't really... I stopped streaming pretty much. I stopped doing pretty much anything, I was just studying f for the tests. So I didn't really follow the situation, I thought, yeah, yeah, like, whatever, this is dumb. And I know that uh, in the past, a uh, so player base is not really good with... Uh, check DM stock. I'm gonna check them after the stream. Uh, SS community is not really that good at... Well, it isn't good, pretty much. When Simard had uploaded, a lot of people hated him because he sent, like, a joke message. Anything. Literally. I, I thought, even at the time, I learned about this during the problem beta. I thought, that's dumb. And it was! He literally, like, said, I make me partner because I bring views or something like that. And then people said, yeah, you, you can't be a partner. And people started harassing him because, oh, you're so self-centered. By the way, that was old partner program where there wasn't, like, a form to fill out. It was just like, oh, yeah, you're a partner suddenly. And there were partners that didn't even upload videos. But they were, but they were partners anyway. So I thought it was that. I did not follow the situation. Who cares? But a lot of people started 
being really you know really the uh, hate hunting back and I didn't I honestly thought it was like an overreaction. Like who cares? I did not hear about the third thing. Because the third thing actually you know how I learned about the third thing? While I was talking with Bako. If he did not tell me this, I would still probably be friends with him. Okay, maybe not. I would have probably learned about it anyway. But he told me about that. When all okay, of this happened, I sent to him a message like, Hey, are so you okay? Because I, I knew how better. toxic SS player base can be. So I said, Hey, are you okay? Because there is a lot of hate being sent to him. But like, because he said an N-word really long time ago. Well, I, I just sent a, a message to him. Are you okay? Because I didn't hear about the third thing. Again. As I was saying. And I thought people were just hating on him for absolutely no reason. Because he was hated, but I think now... It reached a boiling point because, oh, he said the N-word 13 years ago and he did, like made up misinformation. So I said, you know, like, it, it's not a thing that you would just completely tarnish your relationship with someone. So, no, I'm, st I'm still on his side. It's really scary to say. And he said, yeah, yeah, did you read the document? And I said, what he document? And he said, made, like, a Minecraft. response document where he talked about those two things. And then the third thing. The third thing. What he said in that document was that people thought he was a pedophile because he sent like DMs to other people like Do you like kissing boys? Which honestly, that sounds like him. That really sounded like him. I did not check more of that oh. information because I was just like, you know what, screw this, all of this. I just want to study my physics. By the way, I have my physics. Vada mekum. I have, this is useless now. I did not hear the other side, but I wanted to do that after I came back. Actually, no, I wanted to do that. Like, I didn't... I don't know why I didn't check. Because I... Uh, even at the time I when I read that, doc, read that document, I thought... Yeah, I should probably check the other side, because... Taking the word of a groomer is not a good idea. So, very big apologies for not doing that. But after a while on YouTube... I finally got recommended some videos about that, and I said... Okay, yeah, this, it's time to finally learn about this whole situation. And I watched it. I saw the screenshots, I saw the images. Everything checked out. It was his curtains, it was his object of power. And I said bye bye. Deleted from Steam, deleted from Discord, left the server, bye bye. So once again, Call I need to apologize. Game. I should have checked this earlier, but I was focusing on school. But even at the time, like, only a couple of weeks before the test, I started like Good just completely not even opening my computer. I, I was still like sort of doing things, but I didn't care to check. Oh, why are you here? Just seeing how everyone was cutting contact with him, I was, and I didn't know the third thing. I like a dilemma because, you know, on, on one hand, I think that's what you're supposed to do when there's allegations. But on the other hand, what if they turn out false? So you say like, oh, could you please re-add me as friend on Steam? Like, that's... You, you know, the other side should probably understand because it's a... It's, it's not good when there's allegations. But, but I don't know, I truly did not know how to act. And even at the time I said to myself, I have no idea what to do. Because I do not have no idea how to do. I was... N I never encountered, encounter, encountered a situation like this. How did that work? Mm, yeah, but honestly, it really sucks because Bako was the only other creator that was doing uh, videos like mine, or more like, you know, not just gameplay videos, but like with n actual narration, even if they were more basic. It really sucks to see him, you know, not be that great of a guy. And now I am alone again. And we were actually talking because he was quite a. I don't know, at least to me, he, he was really. We talked, okay? In other creators, we were just like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, we're friends. We don't really talk. We don't really talk. I also kind of wanted to use him as, you know, to promote Maggie's mode. That's not gonna happen. And we are back to having zero Euro trucks and partners on the Discord now. Euro trucks and stream. Yeah, pretty much. I, tr I truly want to play a cell on the wheel. Okay, I think that's all of the situation. I went about it terribly. I am extremely sorry for that. Let's move on. And, as I said, Magismo was kind of inspired by Bako, but I am the one who made Magismo. I am the one who owns Magismo. I am the one who works on Magismo. It's my product, it's not his. And that's important to remember.